Welcome to Rocks 3D Studio. I'm Brian. In this video, I'm going to go over how to uh, add text to your videos and also how to animate it with some simple movements. I have a video clip imported into the sequencer that we can add text over. To add the text, just click Add, select Text, and that adds a uh, text object here above your video clip. In the preview, you can see that it adds the default word text as an overlay and we'll be changing that in a second. I'm going to zoom in here so we can see these control handles. With this text block selected on the right click the strip tab and that opens your uh, settings for your text object. This top field is the name of the object itself not the text that you see on the screen. So if you have a bunch of objects in the sequencer, it's always good to give them a d distinct name to keep things organized. This field under Effect Strip is the actual text that you can read on the screen, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. And you can see that it changed that on the preview window. Underneath of the text field you have your font selection. You can just click open and navigate to where you have fonts on your system. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that first one. And you can change the size by clicking and dragging on this value field here. You can also single click and then manually input the size or use the control handles on either side to increase or decrease the font size. Make it a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to change the color to something that contrasts against that gray background. Green works. And under shadow you can add a shadow to your text and change the color of that as well. I'm going to leave that disabled uh, for now. Let me zoom back out here. Under the layout section you have your X and Y positions and your horizontal alignment, left, center, or right, and your vertical alignment, top, center, and bottom. And also your wrap width, and this is helpful if you have a larger block of text and you need to control the, the width of the all the text that you have on the screen. I'm going to set that back to zero since we just have the one line. You can click and drag here to move your text horizontally from 0 to 1, but you can see that that doesn't allow you to take that text off the screen. If you wanted to, say, animate it uh, from the left side here off the screen into the center of your video, you'd have to just manually, I'm just going to put negative 1, and that takes it down past zero. And you can do that as well. Uh, increase this to two if you want to take that off the screen. So you can either manually set these or, or just click and drag in the field to move your text around. And you can animate these values to animate your text, but it doesn't give you the full control you can have uh, if you wanted to say scale the text either in the X or Y direction or if you wanted to rotate the text. And to do that we need to add uh, another block over here to our sequencer. So let's go ahead and do that. With the text block selected click Add and then hover over Effect Strip, and then select Transform. And that adds a transform 
object above your text block. And you can see that our pre our video preview is not visible now, but to change that, all we have to do is go over here in the uh, transform block settings and under compositing, under blend, just click alpha over and that fixes that. Let me scroll this up a little bit here. And now you can see you have XY position, XY scaling, and rotation. This is going to give you a lot more control over how you animate your text object. So if we were to move the text along the x-axis here, you can see that there is a duplicate, the original, uh, the original text object is still visible. Let me reset this. To fix that little issue, just select your text block and in the strip tab scroll down until you see opacity under compositing and just turn that to zero. And now we can select our transform object and now we've resolved that duplication. So here you can see you can just scroll this off to the side. You don't have any limits to where the uh, clip goes at all. So it just makes it a little more easier to animate this with these extra controls. If you wanted to scale the text or either direction or you can do uniform scale and that will let you just scale the text as a whole. I'm going to reset these here. And you can also rotate around the center. So how do we animate? I'll try to make it as straightforward as possible because it is confusing. First you want to determine how you want to animate your text and the duration it's going to take to play through the animation. So right now you can see I've got probably 30, almost 30 frames. Uh, for this text object and to extend that past 30 frames I can just click and drag the control handle on the text object and that also changes the duration of the transform as well. I'll put it up here to 180 or so. That would be about three seconds since I have over here you can see I got 60 frames per second for the video. So let's select the transform object again so we can control the text. And let's have this text uh, come in from the left into the center of the screen. So let me move this off the screen here where it's going to start. And the first thing you actually want to do is to make sure you have the uh, indicator here at the frame you want to start the animation. In this case I'm going to start it at frame 1 at this position right off screen here. And to set the starting point of the animation hover over the value that you want to animate. In this case it's going to be the X position and then press I on the keyboard and that inserts a keyframe at frame 1. Next you want to move the scrubber to the position where you want or to the frame that you want the animation to stop. Let's just go two seconds here. Bring it up to about 120. You can see that right down here in the frame indicator and we want to move the text to its final position. So I'm going to just click and drag this to just stop it right there and then press I on the keyboard again and you have your 
second keyframe. So let's go that back to the beginning and play this. That worked well. Let me scrub this back here. So essentially that is how you animate almost anything uh, in Blender at its very at its very basic level. We can also insert uh, animation in between these two keyframes that we set up to add additional movement to this. Um, I'm gonna why don't we just rotate this around 360 degrees as it's coming in. Yeah I know it'll look silly but we're, that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to find the position or the frame where I want the rotation to begin. I'm just going to eyeball it and just start the rotation right there. Frame 36. And I'm going to hover over the rotation value and I, <coughs> excuse me, press I to set the keyframe. Let's come up here to midway between 120 and where was that 36 I'm not gonna do the math I'm just again eyeballing it let's position this at 180 press I to set the keyframe and then at frame 120 where our movement ends, I'm going to move this to 360 and press I to set a keyframe there. So let's go back to the beginning and see what kind of mess we've made. Yeah, that's awful, but it works as intended. <laughs> and let's go ahead and add a scale effect starting at frame 120. I'm just going to scale it down to zero and I'm going to use a uniform scale so it's scaling at the same rate in the X and Y. I'm going to hover over this scale value and press I and we'll move the frame to the last frame of the animation at 180 Set the scale to zero and press I. Let's go back to the beginning and see what we've got. And there it goes. So at its most fundamental, that is how you animate anything in Blender. And to summarize the steps, you want to select the frame where you want your animation to begin. And you want to set the position of your object where you want it to begin the animation. Press I to set the keyframe. Then you want to move the frame to where you want the animation to end. In this case I'm just gonna hover over the frame 120 keyframe where we just moved it into position. And then you want to select the value where you want your object to end the movement and then press I to set the keyframe. I cut away to add some things here but the process boils down to this. You want to set your starting frame. You want to set the beginning state of the object. Press I to insert the keyframe on the value that you want to animate. Set the end frame set the end state of your object and then press I to insert the keyframe on the value that you want to animate. I hope I was able to provide some clarity on how to do some simple uh, animation in Blender and add the text as overlay on your video clips. The best thing uh, to do is just experiment, play with the settings, and make a ton of mistakes and then see what you come up with. 
Next time we'll go over how to add um, image overlays on the video clips and animate those as well. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos every Sunday and uh, Wednesdays. And if you're finding these videos helpful, uh, please let me know in the comments. And until next time, we will be seeing you. Bye-bye.